Unreal Engine makes for some really good looking games, but any errors in the engine and your games will stop working. My name is Yadullah, you are watching Candid.Technology and in this video we are talking about the Unreal Engine 4 fatal error and how you can fix it on Windows. Now Unreal Engine 4 can stop working for a bunch of reasons but the first fix that we are going to apply is that we are going to update our GPU drivers. Now depending on whether you have an Nvidia GPU or an AMD GPU, you will have a respective utility for uh, installing drivers and so on and so forth. So since I have an Nvidia GPU, I will launch GeForce Experience, I will give it a second to load, then head over to the drivers tab and in here you can click on the check for updates button to start checking for updates. As you can see, it's now looking for updates and uh, since I already have the drivers installed, it should show me that you have the latest GeForce game ready driver installed and ready to go. Uh, alternatively, if you don't want to use the dedicated utility for drivers, what you can do is you can right click the start menu and head all the way over to device manager. This will uh, open up device manager. Let me just bring it right here. In here, what you have to do is uh, expand the display adapters button or section and then right click on your GPU and click on update driver. Then click on search automatically for drivers and this will automatically search uninstalled any required drivers for your GPU. So make sure your GPU drivers are up to date, restart your PC and then try again. The next method is to disable any full screen optimizations from your game. Now the way you can do it is by navigating to your Steam library. Now uh, just head over to the drive that has your games. So I have them saved here. I will go for this example, we'll just work with my Steam library. So I'll go to Steam library, Steam apps, then common, then whatever game I want to fix. I want to fix Counter-Strike Global Offensive, which is actually Counter-Strike 2 now. Head over to bin. Uh, wait, head over to CSGO and wait, game bin win64 and then you will find the cs2.exe file right here. Just right click it and then click on properties. Once the properties section opens up, as you can see, uh, head over to the compatibility tab and make sure that disable full screen optimizations is unchecked. And then make sure that run this program as an administrator is checked. Now Counter-Strike as a game doesn't really use the Unreal 4 engine, but these settings apply across games. So if you're having a problem with an Unreal 4 game or with any other game, you can try these settings out. The next method is to force DirectX 11 or DirectX 12 rendering in your game. And you can do that by adding a custom flag. Now to do that, uh, we'll have to find out where our game is located or if you're using something like Steam or Epic Games, you can add a custom launch parameter. To do that, we'll just launch Steam. Let's open it up on the second monitor, bring it here. I'll head over to my library and then just right click on your game, go to manage or rather go to properties. Now in here, you will see uh, a launch options box and now we're just going to add dash DX11. Now you can close this window and restart your game. If that doesn't fix your problem, come back to this window and instead of DX11, we're going to write DX12. One of these options is going to fix the issue. So you're going to have to go by trial and error to figure out what the problem was. Next up on the list is display scaling. Now this is an issue that doesn't really affect games all that much, but if you're running into problems and cannot fix it, this can fix the problem. So we're going to press Windows key plus I to open Windows settings. And in here, we're going to head over to system, then display. And when you scroll down under scale and layout, you will see this scale setting. And what we're going to do is that we're going to change this to 100% uh, or even 150, depending on what your preference is. It recommends 125 to me, and that might be the case for you as well. And that's the setting that usually works for everyone. But in case you're facing a problem, you can try switching it to 100 or 150% to see if that fixes the issue. 
now uh, if nothing else works make sure that you do not have any sort of overclocking on your system uh, if you use a program like msi afterburner you can open it up just like i am here we'll give it a second to open up and as you can see i do not have any sort of uh, overclocking applied on my system if you know any sort of uh, such issue or if you have applied any sort of overclocking make sure that you go ahead and revert those changes before launching your game finally uh, this can also be fixed with a windows update so press windows key plus i to open uh, windows update head over to windows update section and install any pending updates that you have it's very important that you do this because windows updates often bring required components to windows that your updated game might need to run properly and that's how you can fix unreal engine errors on your windows 11 pc if you like these videos consider subscribing give us a thumbs up press the bell icon and tell us in the comments below what more such content can we make for you or if you have any thoughts to share on this video drop a comment below and i'll be there talking to you if you want to know more about tech, visit our website candid.technology, follow us on social media, follow me on Instagram or Twitter and we'll see you in the next video.